The following content is copyrighted by Sarkis Tarzian Incorporated. Welcome to Fort Wayne Feedback, a public affairs presentation of Sarkis Tarzian Incorporated. Opinions expressed on Fort Wayne Feedback do not necessarily reflect the opinions of Sarkis Tarzian Incorporated. Now, here's your host, Carrie Wellman. Good morning and welcome to this edition of Fort Wayne Feedback. And I'm your host today, Carrie Wellman. Joining us, we have Megan Short. Megan is Director of Investor Programs with Greater Fort Wayne, Inc. So welcome, Megan. Thanks for coming on to the show with me today. Welcome. Thank you so much, Carrie. It's a pleasure to be on today. Well, what we wanted to talk about was a program called On Board, and I saw a press release regarding On Board from you and, and from Greater Fort Wayne, Inc. And I thought, man, what a great program this is for our city. Can you kind of encapsulate for us what On Board is all about? Absolutely. It is one of my favorite programs that I help run with the Chamber. And Onboard Fort Wayne is now in our third year. It is our signature talent attraction and retention program that was designed to provide newly relocated professionals with social and informational opportunities that help accelerate their connections here in Fort Wayne and help build their best life in Allen County. So we, we do a lot of different things. And I know you'll have Um, Some questions for me that we'll get into um, about the event and what our navigators are and and all of that. But it's really just a program that helps those that move into Fort Wayne um, fall in love with the city. And we really want to just keep them here, too. Right. So kind of planning those routes. So it's interesting to me because we have, you know, when you think of recruiting, when you think of retaining people and workers in our city, You think of all the attractions that we have. We have great schools. We have universities. We have uh, wonderful city attractions. We have, you know, trails and and we have a baseball team. And I'm just, you know, I could go on and on. So we Mm -hmm. have all of these things that I'm assuming help to attract people or businesses to our city. Why is a program like Onboard necessary to sort of complete that whole package? Yeah, absolutely. So um, if those that aren't aware, Fort Wayne, Allen County is the second fastest growing metro in the Great Lakes region right now. Wow. So that that includes Indiana, Ohio, Illinois, Michigan, and Wisconsin. And we also just had our sixth consecutive year of positive domestic migration in 2022, which basically just means that more people moved here than relocating elsewhere in the state. So um, right now, Allen County's population growth is at a rate of 0.6, which outpaces the entire state of Indiana at 0.29. And then our national rate is at 0.38. So we really are seeing that booming uh, momentum and experiencing that economic growth. So having a program that is designed to keep the talent here once they relocate um, is really imperative. And so we did a lot of research with this program um, and it, we show that the, thir- the first 90 days after someone moves here um, really is the most important to helping them find their sense of belonging. So um, that first three months when they get here, they don't know anyone. They don't know where to, you know, take their kids to school or go to the dentist or where to, like, mm. get their dogs groomed. Right. You know, like, little <laughs> minor things, just everyday life questions that, Their workplace may not be able to suss out with them, um, but this really just helps provide that social and informational opportunity for them to accelerate those connections and give them the resources that they need once they're here. And really just to make new friends, because we know that making adult friendships is really hard um, when we're, you know, in the hustle of work culture. And if we have kids, we don't really have time outside of work to participate, but this kind of build that gap in between. You know, that's so interesting when you say things like find a grocery store, find a doctor, find a a grooming facility. It's those things that we take for granted. But when you're new to a community, you have to start from square one. Mm -hmm. I know, I know. Yeah. And I mean, I'm a Fort Wayne native. So I've been here my whole life other than college. So I'm, I guess I'm accustomed to those things. But you really do take it for granted. And when people move here, they have no clue where to start if they if they really don't have any friends. So we really want to help step in and kind of be that first friend for them and really provide a sense of belonging and open with, you know, open the red carpet for them and say, like, we want you here and we're glad that you chose Fort Wayne as home. Do you have different um, uh, uh, ways of 
retention versus recruitment. So, you know, to retain talent, you have like, like you, I was born in Fort Wayne. You, Megan, were born in Fort Wayne. And mm-hmm. um, I, I did have a, a stint away for a little bit, but came back. Um, is there a difference between what you do for recruitment versus retention? Because retention, you know, like you say, we're all comfortable in our our um, mm-hmm. our own city and we know what's going on here. How is how does that differ in your trying to keep people and, and, and recruit people here to Fort Wayne? Yeah, I think this program specifically is more on the retention side. Um, we do partner with other companies that are the recruiting. So um, Northeast Indiana Talent Attraction, they do a lot more of that recruiting piece. Um, and then the companies themselves. So we have a good uh, relationship with our Greater Fort Wayne members. So we work hand in hand with some of those HR professionals and the talent acquisition staff. So when they're going out to reach their people, um, we can then connect the dots once they're here. So we haven't done much of the kind of those that are still in the looking phase, but we have had a couple people reach out and they just found us on Google um, and they said, oh, well, they have this program that's kind of a perk, right? It's an added benefit once I move there that there is resources for me to get connected. Um, And we have used our navigators um, for some of those um, warm introduction. So if a, a recruiter has someone coming in for an interview, they can reach out and we can do kind of like a little mini tour of the city and answer some questions that are kind of off the record outside of that. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> so that's kind of helpful too. It's kind of, we call it on call service. Is, is that what a navigator is? Uh, no. So our navigators are actually uh, a little bit separate. So okay. they, um, they are volunteers who basically ah. um, are ambassadors for the city. So like I said before, they help us roll up that red carpet and get people settled in. Um, we kind of use navigators as a way, much like a concierge at a hotel, right? So answering those questions, where can I find the best burger? Who do I trust for childcare? Those kind of bridge the gap questions because people get so overwhelmed by the Google searching, right? And and they really just want that, like, trusted resource and recommendations from people. So navigators volunteer their time for that first 90 days. Um, like I mentioned, they'll, they'll be paired with a newcomer for three months. So we have a full directory on our website of all the navigators that have offered to volunteer. Um, those have been typically DFW members or those who have gone through Leadership Fort Wayne, um, our Women's Network members, people who are already engaged with the chamber who have been like, yes, I love Fort Wayne. Yes, I'm passionate about this city. Let me share that with others. So um, when a newcomer enrolls, they will be able to kind of look at that directory and choose um, like their first, second and third choice. And then mm-hmm. we get them prepared Um and then there's a little bit of a process with that. So they actually also get what we call a Mad About Fort Wayne experience box. So we <laughs> love to kind of give them like a welcome package. And we put some local coupons and some swag and some little Fort Wayne trinkets in there. And it's our way of just saying like, welcome. Um, here's some things that are special to Fort Wayne and unique and we want you to be able to experience this with the crew that you came with. So I, I like how you said that um, in one of your pieces that navigators are kind of like a, a city concierge. Yeah, yeah. They've been really fun to work with. And we've had several over the past three years um, with the program. And they have absolutely loved it. And we've even had some newcomers who started with the pilot um, back in 2020 who have now like offered to be a navigator. So that's just a testament of how well this program has been like changing their experience as a newcomer. So when somebody, um, you know, does relocate, come to town for the first time, or maybe they're back after decades, and they just aren't familiar Mm -hmm. with what we have now, versus what we had then, do, do they contact you directly? Or do you reach out to them? Because I would imagine it'd be hard to reach out to everybody. You, You know, how would you know who's here and who's not? Yeah, exactly. So we really do rely on that word of mouth. So Mm -hmm. people have been contacting us, or they find out about the program through um, any of our press that we've had recently, which is exciting, or their company. So if they are a GFW Inc. member organization, typically this is part of that package that they um, would know about. And so um, we also have what we call welcome events. 
and those are open to the public. So anyone can attend those. It's kind of like a sneak peek of what to expect. So we have quarterly socials and behind the scene tours of unique locations twice a year. So we've been at places like the Fort Wayne Children's Zoo, Parkview Field, Promenade Park, Sweetwater, Country Heritage Winery, a few others. Uh, But it's really just a fun way to meet like-minded professionals and connect with those that are new and rooted in the community. Um, So we also sometimes will feature nonprofit sponsors or organizations at those events. And we have, you know, a large information table with plenty of pamphlets and information about services. Um, that they have to offer or just amenities in the city in general. That's a good idea, you know, at at different events around town to be out there and have the resources there to be out where the people are. Absolutely. Do you have any, um, like through the summertime, I imagine you've got plenty of events where you guys might be out and about. Yeah, so we, I mean, obviously behind the the scene tours and our socials, um, we as a company, don't participate in any of the, the summer festivities, but we do use those as opportunities for the navigators to mm-hmm. take the new oh, So makes, we yeah. highlight those, we give them a list of like, hey, here's what's, what's coming up, you should check it out, or um, we connect them. We partner with Visit Fort Wayne, so that's one of our partners on the program, and they have a fantastic like current events email that they send out. I want to say it's, it might even be weekly. Um, I sign up for it personally, too. So if I want to <laughs> and I know what's going on. Um, but, yeah, that's a great resource for people to just kind of know what's happening. So we do promote other events that are happening um, and partner alongside of them. I was going to say, we have such so many great organizations in and around Northeast Indiana. I bet that you have a lot of great partners that you use throughout the year. Yeah, yeah, we do. And another one that's, I think, a little unique is, um, Amani Family Services is another partner. Yeah. So when multicultural families come in, there's a whole nother learning curve and um, questions that come with that. So they help provide those services and even just like language services for us to make all feel at home. And then we partner with AWS Foundation and others that help with any disability services that might be needed for family members that come along with them. Um, So we're really looking at a full inclusive package to make all feel like they belong here. That's a great, that's a great idea, you know, pairing with all these different organizations because, you know, as, as our community does get more inclusive, uh, a lot of different services will be needed or are needed. Yeah, absolutely. Well, let's do this. Let's take a quick break. um, And when we come back, I want to talk more about um, this onboard program. I, I don't know. I just think, as, as you mentioned, I'd also like to get uh, talk a little bit more about some of those numbers, Megan, that you that you gave us earlier in the program about, you know, the percentage of people that are moving into this region and that kind of thing, because we're experiencing a lot of economic growth here, not only in Fort Wayne, but across the area. So we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about that when we come back on Fort Wayne Feedback. <music> Welcome back to the second half of Fort Wayne Feedback. And our special guest today is Megan Short, who is Director of Investor Programs with Greater Fort Wayne, Inc. And uh, over the break, Megan, we were talking um, about some of the things we wanted to make sure we covered in the second half of the program, not the least of which is the history behind On Board. What is the history? Yeah, thank you so much, Carrie. So Leadership uh, Fort Wayne was actually the program that kind of started what is now On Board Fort Wayne. And it was uh, proposed as a community action project in 2020. So the idea of this program had been tossed around for several years prior, but this was the first time that we really put some intentional action behind that to build the structure. And the LFW team um, was included with Fort Wayne natives, new residents, and those boomerangs, like we kind of (laughs) mentioned, people who were born here, moved away, came back, right? So. Mm -hmm. You would be considered a boomerang, but um, <laughs> right. that whole, the LFW team really spent several months researching and leaning into some peer um, communities that are doing similar programs and then launched that pilot at the end of 2020, which we all know was unexpectedly the height of a pandemic. <laughs> right. So um, <laughs> we weren't sure where it was going to go, honestly, and we didn't really know how much we would really need a social program like this focused around relationships, but it really 
just kind of emphasize the need for that sense of community when otherwise we were in such an isolated time. So it kind of was like a blessing in disguise when it launched and it really took off. Um, So this is now our third full year of the program, Um, but we're really proud of the Leadership Fort Wayne team that helped kind of build it. And we still have two of the um, initial team members on our onboard Fort Wayne Leadership Council. So I have like a small board that helps me organize the program and our events. And I have two of the original founding members on that team, which is mm. fantastic to kind of continue that um, that legacy. Well, and as you mentioned in the first part of the show, you know, creating this program was so important. But as our uh, city grows, I mean, you were you were. Um, quoting some figures about migrations and and how Allen County is what what did you say one of the fastest growing or second yeah we yep we're the second fastest growing metro in the Great Lakes region that's crazy among all of the things that are uh, available through the onboard program you say there's there's a lot of information that is that can be put forth through the program including a relocation guide what's that about yeah so uh Greater Fine Inc says Here's everything we have to offer and why Fort Wayne is so unique and special. Um, and then we also kind of point them towards our online resource page on the onboard Fort Wayne website. And that outlines those um, amenities even further and highlights our greater Fort Wayne Inc. members. Um, and then we do have our navigators are trained and um, kind of given other additional resources through Visit Fort Wayne. Um, and we have a visitor guide that they provide and that, I mean, I even use that and I love reading through all the new activities that are going on. It kind of highlights different, um, themed pages, it has different highlights, um, activities and neighborhoods and things like that, um, has coupons in the back, which is awesome. Who does love saving money? Um, so it's just a really unique thing that we can say, here's everything that we have and ways to plug in with your partner or your family um, and just bring life to kind of your experience after you move here. I think you just answered my other question about this because I was going to say the information in the relocation guide seems to be social, recreational, cultural, that kind of thing. Do you work at all with um, different businesses or smaller companies to say, hey, um, these are the financial pros of, of coming to our area, you know, tax bases and things like that. Or is that strictly for the economic development folks? Yeah, I would say that's more um, their strength and where they kind uh-huh. of hone in. So the ED team will um, attract new businesses or those who are um, still here but want to continue branching out um, and maybe even planting headquarters here. So they have I mean, all worldwide companies, honestly, like Swiss Re came in from out of the country and they're planning headquarters. And so they really just work through um, the business side and then we work through the people side. You know, one of the things I like, too, about what you said just a second ago um, in reference to that is the fact that your information, your partnerships are for everyone. So whether it's uh, a young person fresh out of school or whether mm-hmm. it's senior citizens who are moving to the area for the first time or, you know, whether yeah. it's a family with kids, you've got something and resources for everybody. Absolutely. And I think the cool part with our navigator directory online is that you can even search for specific interests or specific seasons of life. So you can go on there and say, you know, I'm looking for another empty nester who likes downtown. Right. And you can filter by interest and then say, oh, this person has a very similar walk of life as me, and I'd love to meet with them. Um, Or you can look for someone who's different and go to that young leader who can kind of branch out a little bit, or if you have family that's moving with you too. Um, I think that's unique in the sense that you can really get niche with what you're looking for. Yeah. Um, But we do want to welcome all, and we have all ages. We have the emerging professionals. We have C-level executives. Um, Rick Skideman with the Fort Wayne Children's Zoo, he is just boasts about this program. Him and his wife, Kristen, went through the the pilot program in 2020, and they've come back every year. And I just think <laughs> it's amazing. Um, so we love kind of hearing their story and their testimony. Megan, I'm curious about this. Um, do you network with other communities that are similar to Fort Wayne? 
I mean, cities across the country and say, OK, uh, you know, maybe in, uh, I don't know, uh, Boise, they have a program that works really well. And you guys go, oh, maybe that that might translate to really well for our community here. Or maybe in Grand Rapids, they're doing something and you say, oh, we should try that here. Do you network like that with other cities? We do. Absolutely. So uh, a benefit of being part of a chamber is that we are connected to all different chambers around the country. Mm-hmm. So when we started this program, we really did our research to kind of see what's already out there. We don't need to reinvent the wheel. <laughs> Let's just you know, look at what people are doing, connect with them, hear their story, what's going well, maybe what gaps they have, and then adapt it to why Fort Wayne um, can take this off and do things in our own way that would really benefit our people. So two of the peer networks that we kind of even still connect with um, every now and then we'll, we'll do a touch base to see what success they're having is the Iowa Iowa city Cedar Rapids program. Um, They call their navigators wingmen. So um, (laughs) it's an aviation um, themed program, but very similar to ours um, with the, the matching and the events. And then Indie Hub, just, you know, a couple hours south of mm-hmm. us, they have a program called Meet Indy, and they have city ambassadors that do the same thing. So we love kind of ping-ponging is what we call it at GFW, but we ping-pong across different peer networks that are doing the same thing because we all just really want to move that needle forward together and help everyone build a place that they can belong. Well, and I would imagine, too, that other communities look at us or look to us. Yeah. For yeah, ideas, yeah. too, because we are just going gangbusters in Fort Wayne. Yeah, uh, yeah, we've had a couple actually reach out. Um, I had one from, oh, man, I want to say Minnesota. It was a very remote location um, that reached out and said, hey, I heard what you're doing. Can we talk about it? We want to build a program. And, and Wabash actually has reached out to see if they can build something similar. So we're it. getting our feet wet everywhere. Um, and even in its infancy with three years being... Um, the only experience we have to go off of, we're starting to see some patterns already um, and kind of build from there to continue growing. That's something to be proud of. That's really neat. Um, If somebody wants to get involved, um, you said earlier in the program that um, you definitely need volunteers, work with volunteers. Um, In what kinds of ways do you use volunteers? Yeah, so we uh, have the Navigators, obviously, Mm -hmm. as one of the most important volunteers. They are our city ambassadors, and they really kind of make this program come to life. So anyone who's interested can go to onboardfortwayne.com, and it shares a little bit about what's expected um, and a, a form that you can fill out to apply, and then we would come back with you with a agreement form and then we do a quick training with you and then invite you to all of our events. So um, that would probably be the most important need right now is people who can just be those friendly faces. And then everyone who just wants to help, you know, raise awareness of the program. I think it's, again, still in its small infancy and not a lot of people or, or organizations know that it exists. So continuing to spread that, that word and get people involved. Um, our events, we'd love to see them boosting with hundreds of people because it's kind of, you know, the first stop, right? When you move yeah. in, you have to support events, right? It's like the, the who's who comes on board. So <laughs> we have reputation. Um, right now, it's we've impacted over 80 newcomers. So I think it's just going to continue to thrive as our community grows and as we learn what kind of works the best for our program. Um, yeah, it's just been a fantastic experience, and I love being a part of that because in high school, I feel like I've always been, like, the cheerleader for Fort Wayne, <laughs> and everyone else is like, oh, I just need to get out, and so, I don't know, I think it's really fun to be a part of this, and it's just such an amazing city to live in, and I love that we can kind of share that that passion with others who get to move here. And, you know, I think it's interesting, too, with Navigators especially, it's a win-win because you can have folks who have maybe just moved here within the last couple of years, you know, and they are mm-hmm. they are in love with the city. They're passionate about the city. And then you've got the folks who, like you and me, um, have been here for mm-hmm. a long time, maybe born and raised, and really, you know, like anybody, appreciates what we have to offer. So it's, it's with Navigators, it's kind of a win-win there. Yeah, absolutely. And 
I mean, we all know sometimes Fort Wayne, we, we do have that Hoosier hospitality, but uh, we can get stuck in those conversations of, oh, well, where did you go to high school, right? Yeah. And that can be really kind of pigeonhole those newcomers who didn't grow up here and didn't get to experience those, you know, kind of things. But I feel like this program kind of breaks those clicks up yep. and really says, you know what, we're all here together and to experience everything that this community has to offer. Um, and we should be celebrating those who move here and, you yep. know, making that that choice. So instead of like, you know, the California couple that comes and saying, well, why'd you move here? Right. <laughs> um, you know, like, OK, we do, you know, winters aren't the best, but we know that. <laughs> Um, there's so much more that comes with the full package of Fort Wayne. So I think just flipping those scripts and those those little sentences that might have a negative connotation to something that's worth celebrating. Um, I'd love to just share that with everybody. Megan, what's the best? One more time, because um, we're running down on time. One more time, the best way to get a hold of you and find out more? Yep, onboardfortwayne.com. Perfect. Thank you so much for coming on today. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much, Carrie. I'd love to have you back and we can talk uh, more about On Board. We've been speaking with Megan Short today, Director of Investor Programs with Greater Fort Wayne, Inc. And I'm Carrie Wellman, thanking you for joining us today on Fort Wayne Feedback. You've been listening to Fort Wayne Feedback, a public affairs presentation of Sarkis Tarsian Incorporated with your host, Carrie Wellman. Opinions expressed on Fort Wayne Feedback do not necessarily reflect the opinions of Sarkis Tarzine Incorporated. Thank you for listening to Fort Wayne Feedback, Fort Wayne.